Well, Lexi, I told you about this. I just asked you, baby, to tell me the truth. Like, how big is the baby? It's full term. What? This is Alexi Treviso, a 19 year old who, in January 2023, had just given birth to her newborn. Not wanting to deal with the infant, Alexi, in a rush, went to the bathroom and came to a decision to dump it in a trash can at the New Mexico hospital. Hospital staff later found the lifeless newborn with a garbage bag concealing its body. And then when I picked it up, that's when I noticed it even more because all I saw was black and purple. But once we picked it up, like the bag suctioned to his face. And that's when I yelled for my charge nurse, which was HT. And I told him, um, hey, she put her baby in the trash can. So um, I handed the baby to him and he took off to the trauma room and opened up the bag. And then that's when we went and got Dr. Vasquez. I go in the bathroom and she goes, something's in the trash can. I'm like, I looked in there, there's a clean liner. I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, pick it up. I pick it up, I can feel the weight. I knew then we had a serious problem. I immediately took, I just grabbed the trash can and went right across the hall into trauma two. Um, I pulled, the liner was pulled out, but there was another trash bag in there in the bottom, but it was all kind of, it was rolled up. So I had to tear it apart. And then, of course, I saw the baby in there. So I pulled the baby out, got him on the bed, checked for signs of life. There was absolutely no life whatsoever. Um, I immediately came out of there after I did that, went into the room where she was performing the, she was performing the vaginal exam, and I immediately told her, you have to come out now. And she came out, and we went into trauma, too, and she reassessed the baby. At that time, between me and Chris and her, we determined, you know, there was no reason for us to begin any life saving. The baby was completely gone. The nurses even tell the detectives that the teen showed clear signs of trying to conceal her pregnancy. It seemed like we were being just deceived from the beginning. Like, but that, that's just my, my take on it. It seemed like she was very manipulative with us. And it was at least what it seemed like to me. She didn't want you to discover, you know, that she was pregnant. And she wore really baggy clothing. Um, yeah, and she, she would just, she wouldn't sit still for you. I'm sure she was very uncomfortable too, but yeah, she, she wouldn't allow you to do it. It seemed like she'd been trying to hide this pregnancy from her mother from some, for some time. Right, if you know you're pregnant, you're not going to continue taking birth control medicines. But if you're trying to hide it, you might start taking weight loss medications. That's just kind of what it seemed like. The umbilical cord, according to a nurse, was in a really bad state. It looked as if the teen had ripped it off. The umbilical cord looked like an animal had tore it apart. Like, you know, have you ever eaten string cheese? Mm -hmm. And you know, when you twist it, that's how the bottom of the umbilical cord looked. And it, I just remember it caught my eye and I was like, God, I was like, this this chick really ripped this thing apart. The hospital staff then immediately informed the police of the incident, who arrived soon after to question the teenager. The officer, along with the doctor and head nurse, confront Alexi and her mom with the information. I'm sorry, we discovered a dead baby in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, it came out of me and I didn't know what to do. Alexi, I told you about this. I just asked you, baby, to tell me the truth. I was not crying or anything. What did you do to it? Okay, stop right here. I stop, stop. stop. Number one priority, guys. Number one priority is she just had a baby. I don't know if she's delivered the placenta. She's bleeding significantly. Yeah. I've spoken to the obstetrician at Loveless. They want her up there as soon as possible. Okay. I need, I need your, I obviously need your permission to transfer her for medical. To, she is. She's be, 19. Oh, you're right. You, but you, she you, is a student too. She's still no, no, 19 you're, you're years right. old. You, you're right. She needs to. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. She's 19. Keep out of me. But you need to, for, to make sure that you're safe. I need to send you to Love, Loveless to labor delivery. Will you please agree to that? Yes. 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 I, okay. I agree. Great. I'm gonna work on that. Um, in terms, I'm sorry about this, but in terms of delivering um, a baby and it looked like you tried to hide it, we do have to have the police involved. And that thing was crying. It came out with that thing. I know, I know. But the, the baby's gonna have to be taken for autopsy and uh, you know, be an investigator and everything. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but we need to do this correctly um, and I want to be transparent with you about what our steps are going to be.
Alexei is seen breaking down as she is informed about the discovery, but is she really feeling any remorse about her deceased newborn? If she did, she would have informed doctors about the baby and shouted out for help when she needed it. Alexei's mother learns the actual details about the baby, but her reaction also is not what one would expect in a situation like this. Do you guys have, I'm the charge nurse, do you guys have any questions for me? Like how big is the baby? It's full term. What? Nine months? Nothing was crying. Let's see. Have you watched the news of the, the girls that, what they do to their babies and what they go to jail? Nothing was crying. Alexi keeps saying nothing was crying, as if a just-born baby wasn't a person or even her child. It seems all Alexi wanted to do was hide the existence of the baby from everyone, hence the reason she had dumped it in the trash can. Her only guilt now is from getting caught. We have to gather some more information about what's, con what's going on. Don't get your statement. They're going to get the doctor's statements. They're going to get everybody's statements, okay? So, I don't know everything yet. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you, I can't tell you nothing honestly, okay? All but I can say is, not go to jail right, right now, she's now well, no, well, right now she's being detained, so she, she's not going to leave from here at all, period, okay? So one of us is will be in, in your custody? Like, yeah, she's detained, <laughs> yeah, she's not under arrest, but she okay. is detained, okay? She's not free to leave, so while this whole thing is coming up, is you're not free to leave, okay? One of us okay. will be in here the whole time with you, because you're not going to try to leave or nothing like that. She all right. Won't. Like I said, the detectives will be here, they're going to talk to you. I mean, your care is of the utmost right now, okay? They're going to do what they need to do to take care of you to make sure you get stable. They get you transferred out or whatever. Like I said, the detectives have already been notified. They're already on the way, so they're going to come talk to you. The officer informs Alexi she's being detained. While her mother asks questions about the baby, Alexi doesn't seem to want to discuss any more details about the baby. Where did you put the baby at? Tell me the truth. Uh, 517. Uh, you put it in the bag? Yes. Yeah. And what bag? Why did you say anything to us? Do you want to get in trouble for this now? You could get in trouble for this. Mom, just give it time, okay? I'm going to speak to detectives whenever she's ready, okay? You ready for the second one? A nurse and the doctor are then seen more affected by this despicable situation, more so than the mother and the grandmother of the baby. When there's like one or two things in the wastebasket, I usually pick it up and take it out, but I didn't that night. And then, like, I've been kicking myself on this because I feel like, you know, if I would have just taken it out, I would have seen it. Well, no one, ex no one prepares for that type of thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Most people don't act like that, so don't blame yourself for it. Yeah. Because it's not a natural thing to do. Well, well, I think it's just hard because I'm a mother, I'm a grandmother. And I've never, I've dealt with death before, but never like this. Right. You know, like, it was horrible. I'm just going to tell you this. I've never, ever seen a reaction like that girl. I, I am, I don't even know what to say about it. There was zero emotion. Um. I, I just, I, I don't even know what to say. I've never seen anything like it. I've seen women that are only married, or, or not married, but um, pregnant for six weeks and they lose that baby and they're a mess. You know what I mean? That girl went into that bathroom, made no sounds at all, and the baby came out of her. And had, I, I don't even know how she functioned that way to do what she did and, and with no emotion. I've never seen anything like it. Four months after the detainment, an arrest warrant was put out for Alexi Treviso. But when officers arrive to arrest the girl, her mother, who seems to be in denial, puts up a fight against the officers. Look, bring her out. Just tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll give it to her whenever. Can I see her? This is my house. I right. have a right to see the warrant. I'm letting you know she has a warrant for her arrest. We'll have a search warrant for your house. We have a warrant for her arrest. Okay, can we see the warrant? Yeah, once we have She gets a copy of it. Can I go up there? Will you take her up there? You can go to the detention. Do you know where it is? Everything? 
Okay, so what is she under arrest for? She's over 18. She's got a I, okay. I understand that, right. Detective Gonzalez. Right. What is she under arrest for? She is under arrest. Okay. For what? That's all my time. Okay. What do you mean that's all you're going to tell me? I'm a, she's over there. Right? So I understand yes, that, but I, I have a right to know as well. I will tell you that. Okay, okay then let me know now. Let me know now. I'm giving you the corporation. I told you every answer my question. What is she under arrest for? The mother seems really annoyed that police officers are at her house, but more annoyed when she's denied any information, which is totally legal as her daughter is 19 years old. And tampering with evidence. Tampering with evidence? Yes. At the hospital? Yes. So, can we see her now? Give me a minute. Okay. It seems she has forgotten that her daughter had killed her newborn and had tried to dispose of it by dumping him in the trash can. The reluctant woman, who had been asking to see the arrest warrant, eventually agrees to bring her daughter out, asking officers to be gentle with her. Yeah, it's nothing personal, it really isn't. And we understand, but we have to do our jobs too. Okay. I understand this, that, I understand person. that. <laughs> that's, that's Melanie, that's uh, Devin's daughter. Yeah, she's a she's she's okay. We're not gonna be rough with her or anything, we're just gonna take her over there and book her. Please don't be rough with her, please. <laughs> just bring her out, you can be with her the entire time, okay? Do you know where the public safety complex is? 3300 West Main? <laughs> You can follow us over there. I will take you there. You can follow me over there. As soon as we re I release the criminal complaint to her, we can then give it to you there, okay? Grant, when can I get, like, her bond? What? That's set up by the judge. It's Magistrate Judge Chuck Foster. He should be doing it. If it's after 3, he'll be doing it in the morning. As Alexi finally comes out, the officers even comply with her mom's request and bring the cop car around, making it easier for Alexi, despite her being a cold-blooded psychopath. What's your name? Alexi. Okay. That's the last four years social. She don't even know it. Oh, no. I don't know. Her. Alexi, do you know your date of birth? Yes. Okay. What is it? 11, 25, 23. Yeah. Do you have to walk her all the way over there? Can you bring your car up there? Yeah, that's all. I'll, I'll go get it. Alexia, are you okay with your mom getting your parole complaint when we get to the detention center? It has your personal information Can you on repeat it. That? Do you want? Are you okay with your mother getting the criminal complaint? It has your personal identifying information on it. Serial so number, date of birth. Yes. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. I have to serve you first, then your mom can get it. Okay. Okay. I do. He's going to move his unit around. Alexi Treviso was finally charged with first-degree murder and tampering with evidence. Her future remains unknown, but not long after, she was allowed to finish her graduation. Her mom is trying to sue the hospital, and now she's blaming the nurses for the death of her baby. If you liked this video, watch this one, and don't forget to subscribe.